everyone welcome back i am harsha aj so in this video let us try to understand few problems from normal distribution in the last video we discussed what is the meaning of normal distribution what is the formula and what is the nature of the graph then we understood what is the meaning of standard normal distribution what is the difference then how to use normal distribution table all these things we discussed in the last video so far if you have not watched that video i have given the link in the description box first you watch that video then it is very easy to understand problems on normal distribution okay so in this video let us try to work out few problems from normal distribution let us take first one if x is a normal variate they have mentioned x is a normal variate with mean 30 and standard deviation 5 find the probability that x lies between 26 to 40 first one second one x greater than 45 so this is the problem from normal distribution what we have to do is in all the problems under normal distribution the first step is you have to convert normal distribution into standard normal distribution how to convert that is we have to convert the variable x into a variable z the relation we have already explained that is z equal to x minus mu by sigma this is called standard normal variate or snv okay so here they have given the value of mu is 30 that is mean and standard deviation sigma is 5 so substitute there what you get z equal to x as it is minus mu is 30 divided by 5 you take that as equation 1 so first part is done now let us go for the problem what is the first one they are asking x lies between 26 to 40 right so first you substitute x equal to 26 lower limit when you substitute x equal to 26 in equation 1 what do you get z equal to 26 minus 30 divided by 5 that is minus 0 0.8 now what is the right limit 40 right so substitute x equal to 40 in 1 again you get answer as z equal to 2 therefore we need to find probability of x which lies between 26 to 40 that is in terms of normal distribution but now we have converted into standard normal distribution that is in terms of z right so that is equal to p of minus 0.8 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 2 so that we have to find out now we have discussed in the last video also you have to write in terms of graph so this is the graph i have written so starting from minus 0.8 that is left extreme up to 2 how to find very simple first we will find the area from minus 0.8 to 0 plus area from 0 to 2 correct now how to find the area from minus 0.8 to 0 since it is symmetric it is equivalent to find from 0 to 0.8 right plus again we want up to 2 so 0 to 2 so probability of 0 to 0.8 is 5 of 0 0.8 plus probability of 0 to 2 is 5 of 2 so now you take normal distribution table find the value of 5 of 0 0.8 how to find again it is very simple i have explained in the last video also first you go down vertically you get 0 0.8 again the next decimal is 0 so first entry that is 0 0.2881 plus 5 of 2 same procedure it is 0 0.4772 so final answer is 0 0.7653 okay go for next one what is the next question they are asking find the probability of x greater than or equal to 45 again write in terms of z here x equal to 45 substitute in equation 1 you get answer as z equal to 3 therefore we want p of x greater than or equal to 45 that is same as p of z greater than or equal to 3 ah, write on the graph uh, greater than 3 means right side of 0.3 how to find it's very simple now right side total area is 0 0.5 correct so minus you subtract the area from 0 to 3 right that gives the required area therefore 0 0.5 minus 5 of 3 5 of 3 is 0 0.4987 using normal distribution table therefore the answer is 0 0.0013 hope you understood right okay now we'll take one more example this is very interesting what is the question says the marks of thousand students in an examination follows 
a normal distribution with mean equal to 70 and standard deviation is 5. Find the number of students. This is very important. They are not asking probability. Find the number of students whose marks will be less than 65, more than 75, 65 to 75. Right? So we have three questions. Okay. So let us take X represents the marks of the students. As usual, mean is 70, standard deviation is 5. First, you have to write in terms of standard normal distribution using the formula Z equal to X minus mu by sigma. Substitute mu and sigma, so it becomes X minus 70 by 5. Take it as 1. Okay. First, what is the first question? Uh, it is less than 65, right? So, substitute X equal to 65 in equation 1. You get Z equal to minus 1. Therefore, we want less than 65 means P of X less than 65. Now we are writing in terms of standard normal distribution. So that is P of in terms of Z now. Z less than minus 1. Okay. Now it is standard normal distribution. Once it is standard normal distribution, as usual, write on the diagram. I have written the first diagram. Uh, what they are asking? It is less than minus 1. Less than minus 1 means left side of minus 1. Correct? Okay. But the curve is symmetric. So the area is equal to finding right side of 1 correct uh, how to find the area right side of 1 it is very simple in the right side the total area is 0 0.5 you subtract from 0 to 1 that is 0.5 minus 5 of 1 so answer is 0 0.1587 but remember this is the probability but they are asking how many students out of 1000 therefore once you get the probability multiply by 1000 so answer is 158.7 but this represents number of students it should be whole number therefore approximately 159 therefore there are 159 students who will score less than 65 correct okay what is the second question more than 75 same thing substitute x equal to 75 in equation 1 you get z equal to 1 so P of X greater than 75 is equivalent to write P of Z greater than 1. Uh, from the diagram, how to find greater than 1? Greater than 1 means total area in the right side is 0.5 minus 5 of 1. That is 0 to 1. So answer is 0 0.1587. This represents probability. Therefore, out of 1000 students to multiply, you get answer as 158.7. So when you round up, you get answer as 159. Okay. What is the last question? You have to find the students between 65 to 75 marks, right? Same. Left limit is x equal to 65. You get z equal to minus 1. Right limit is 75. When you substitute x equal to 75, you get z as 1. Therefore, we have to find out probability between 65 to 75. That is same as writing p of minus 1 less than z less than 1. Okay. Write on the diagram. Minus 1 to plus 1, correct? Uh, how to find... Uh, right side it is 0 to 1, 5 of 1. Uh, left side also 0 to minus 1 is same as right side 0 to 1, right? Therefore, 2 times. So, 2 times 5 of 1. From the table, the value of 5 of 1 is 0 0.3413. Answer is 0 0.6826. This is the probability. Therefore, out of 1000 students, when you multiply by 1000, you get answer as 683. Okay. Let us go for one more variety of problem. This is quite interesting. Here the question is, in a normal distribution, 31% of the items are under 45. Listen carefully. And 8% of the items are over 64. Find the mean and standard deviation of the distribution. How this problem is different from previous problem? Can you think once? Yes, exactly. Here, in all previous problem, they used to give the value of mean and standard deviation we used to find the probability right or number of students here it is reverse they have given the data but the thing is we have to find the value of mean and standard deviation okay let us try to work out this problem so as usual i will take mu represents mean and sigma represents standard deviation now what is the first sentence says 31 percent of the items are under 45 under 45 means P of x less than 45, right? I have taken the variable as x. So, P of x less than 45. 31% means 31 by 100. So, it is 0 
What is the second sentence says? Eighty percent of the store items are over sixty-four. Over sixty-four means P of x greater than sixty-four. Eight percent means eight by hundred. That is point zero eight. Correct? Okay, fine. Now we know the formula for standard normal variate. That is z equal to x minus mu by sigma. Okay. We don't know the value of mu and sigma. We don't have any other option. But from the first term. X less than forty-five. So there we have taken X as forty-five, right? So substitute X equal to forty-five in that equation. What do you get? Z equal to forty-five minus mu by sigma. We don't know the answer because mu and sigma are unknowns. Anyway, we get one answer, right? So that answer I will denote it as Z one. Similarly, from second equation I will take X as sixty-four. Same thing. Substitute you get Z equal to sixty-four minus mu by sigma. You get one answer. For my convenience, I will take it as Z two. Okay, so try to remember equation one and equation two. Now again, I will start with the given condition. What is the condition they have given? P of x less than forty five is point three one. Correct. That is the given data. Now I will try to write in terms of standard normal distribution. How to write in terms of standard normal distribution? We have to write x in terms of z. So P of z less than when x is forty five. Uh, the answer is z1, right? Equation one. So, in place of 45, I'll write z1. So, p of z less than z1 is 0.31. Now, go back to last video. There, I have given the formula. That is, if p of z is less than z1, then it is 0.5 plus 5 of z1. Remember, if it is greater than minus, okay? Therefore, this step becomes 0.5 plus 5 of z1 equal to 0.31. You shift point five to right hand side, subtract. You get answer as five of z one equal to minus zero point one nine. Now the next step is what we have to do is the RHS term that is point one nine. We have to write in terms of reverse for what value of five answer is point one nine. Reverse we have to check in the normal distribution table. When we check, we got the value of five of zero point five is. Point one nine. Therefore, in place of point one nine, I have written five of zero point five. This is reverse. Okay, so you check the distribution table. There you will come to know that the value of five of zero point five is point one nine. Therefore, from this equation, we get z one equal to minus zero point five. Similarly, what is the second data they have given? P of x greater than sixty four is zero point zero eight. But when you write in terms of standard normal distribution, that becomes z. P of z greater than z two is point zero eight. Now, if it is greater than, I have told it is point five minus five of z two equal to zero point zero eight. Shift and simplify, you get five of z two equal to zero point four two. Again, same thing. What we have to do? That point four two, you have to write in the form of five of something, right? So when we check the normal distribution table. We get phi of one point four is point four two. Therefore, in place of zero point four two, I have written phi of one point four. So, which implies z equal to one point four. Therefore, I got the value of z one as well as z two. Substitute in equation one and two. What do you get? First equation forty five minus mu by sigma equal to z one, but z one is minus zero point five. You simplify, cross multiply. And you get the answer as mu minus zero point five sigma equal to forty five. Similarly, from second equation, substitute z equal to one point four. You get sixty four minus mu by sigma equal to one point four. Simplify, you get the answer as mu plus one point four sigma equal to sixty four. Now observe equation three and four. Now from these two equation, there are two unknowns, right? Mu and sigma. So easily you can solve this either by workout or you can use calculator. So we get the value of mu as fifty, sigma as ten. So this is how you have to solve this type of problems. Okay. So you get two equation. You solve it. You get the answer for mu and sigma. In this case, it is fifty and ten respectively. Okay. Let us try to take one more example of same kind. Okay. Fine. What is the question now? In an examination, seven percent of the students score less than thirty-five percent marks. Be careful, and eighty-nine percent of the students score less than sixty-five percent marks. Find the mean and standard deviation if the marks are normally distributed. Same thing. It is exactly similar to previous problem. Uh, let us take mu as mean, 
सिग्मा इज स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन और जो फर्स्ट डेटा सेवन परसेंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स को लेस दैन थर्टी फाइव परसेंट राइट दैट इज पी ऑफ एक्स लेस दैन थर्टी फाइव इक्वल टू सेवन परसेंट मीन्स सेवन बाई हंड्रेड दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन एंड सेकेंड डेटा इज एटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स को लेस दैन सिक्सटी सो पी ऑफ एक्स लेस दैन सिक्सटी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट एट नाइन सेम नाउ यू स्टार्ट विद द फॉर्मूला जेड इक्वल टू एक्स माइनस म्यू बाई सिग्मा फर्स्ट केस एक्स इक्वल टू थर्टी फाइव सब्सिट्यूट यू गेट जेड इक्वल टू थर्टी फाइव माइनस म्यू बाई सिग्मा एंड आंसर विल बी टेकन एज जेड वन सिमिलरली सेकेंड केस एक्स इक्वल टू सिक्सटी सब्सिट्यूट देर यू गेट जेड इक्वल टू सिक्सटी माइनस म्यू बाई सिग्मा दैट आंसर विल बी टेकन एज जेड टू सो दैट यू टेक इट एज इक्वेशन नंबर टू नाउ फॉर द गिवन डेटा दे हैव गिवन पी ऑफ एक्स लेस दैन थर्टी फाइव इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन I have written in terms of standard normal distribution. That is in terms of z. P of z less than z one is zero point zero seven. If it is less than point five plus five of z one equal to zero point zero seven. Shift to point five to right hand side. Subtract. You get answer as minus zero point four three. Now what we have to do? Same thing. Take normal distribution table. You check for what value of five answer is zero point four three. We came to know that that is five of one point four seven. Five seven. Therefore, z one equal to minus one point four seven five seven. Second case. What is the second case? They have given p of x less than sixty is zero point eight nine. When you write in terms of standard normal distribution, x becomes z. I have taken answer as z two. Therefore, p of z less than z two equal to point eight nine. If it is less than again point five plus five of z two equal to point eight nine. Shift that sign. You get. Phi of z equal to zero point three nine. For what value of phi you get point three nine? Check normal distribution table. That is phi of one point two two six three. Therefore, you get z two as one point two two six three. Therefore, we got both the values z one and z two. Substitute in equation one and two. So what you get from equation one? You get mu minus one point four seven five seven sigma equal to thirty five. From second equation, you get mu plus one point two two six three sigma equal to sixty. So we have two equation with two unknowns. Using calculator, solve it. You get the value for mean that is mu equal to forty eight point six five, and the value of standard distribution sigma is nine point two five. So this is how we have to solve this kind of problems. So with this, we'll wind up this particular video. So in this video, we discussed. problems on normal distribution based on the basics what we have discussed in the last video thank you for watching have a nice day